We're doing a Q&A. I'm wearing currently the vitamin C, uh, sorry, the pore cleansing powder from Garden of Wisdom. This is a wonderful product for those people who might have an oily skin, even if you have a normal skin, for a really deep cleanse. So I started off with the Elephant Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm, and if you want to know what I think about that, re-watch the first film. Now, there we are, and I can't answer the last comments. I'm really sorry. If you're watching now, can you re-leave your comment? Because I've lost all the comments from the first one. Um, so, um, yeah, I can't, I can't look at your comments. I'm gonna go to the, to the questions and answers that were left over the last, because there's like a thousand questions left, and then I'll come back to the ones you're leaving now. If you could re-leave the ones that you left on the last post, that would be tremendously helpful, thank you. So, first question. Questions for your viewers will be shown here. Oh my God. Hang on, it's not showing me the questions. That's, oh yes, okay, go back here, one second. Um, ice cubes for tight skin and watercolor. Lucas always asks this question and I think he thinks it's quite funny. So um, I'm just going to say, um, we get your joke now, darling, and move on and think of another one. Um, but I would also say on a more serious note that there's the cryo ball. And I don't know if I have it here because it's a phenomenal tool. But Teresa Tame, who's a facialist I love, when I have facials with her, she uses at the end a round ball she sells called the cryo ball. And she does this kind of contouring massage uh, with that incredibly cold thing that comes out of the freezer. It's phenomenal for um, for contouring your skin. So you could do it with an ice cube if you if you don't want to buy the ball. The ball kind of works well on your face, but an ice cube, you know, no harm. Hot and cold is something that I do still believe in. I know Laszlo, who was one of a range that I used in 1988, 89, and actually is reinventing itself now. It was always a phenomenal range for people with bad skin. And in it, they had that thing of you did 30 cold splashes on your face. So I like to challenge your skin to get your collagen to react, to activate your skin. And that's why I love massaging techniques. I love exfoliations and I just am the opposite of that very delicate touching your skin like that because I want to go for it with my skin. Um, if any of you that think why am I looking weird I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a poor cleaning treatment on my face right now and I'm going to take it off before it starts cracking in a couple of minutes. Um, but for any of you who have larger pores this is a brilliant product it's not that expensive Garden of Wisdom competes with Inky List and The Ordinary, but in my opinion, I think because I know the formulator of the Garden of Wisdom Dance of Victoria Health, and I get no money or anything from Victoria Health, I just, I rate this man so highly in his chemistry to make good formulations. And I just, you know, I love it when you meet the people behind a brand, because you really know what they put in to get that brand there. Like Nanette de Gaspé, who, um, invented the dry sheet mask. She bought a company that does the um, micro technology to create dry sheet masks with impregnated um, uh, vector ingredients. She's the one who did the mask for um, Charlotte Tilbury and she does her own range, the Nanette de Gaspé range. And you know, I know this woman, I've met her, I know her obsession with skincare. Um, I know how dedicated she is and so I love her products. They're really expensive, her day cream. It's a killer price, but I know what goes into it. I know how much the ingredients go into it. Vivian Talsmat, who does that um, powder, you know, the platinum powder. It's a woman I've sat with for 10 years and she's told me, you know, I know what goes on inside her head when she's creating a product. So I believe in it so much. Um, and most of the, you know, all the products that I, you know, show you that I've used for years, I've really dug deep on them. Um, and I haven't just been sent them as a, as, a, as a press sample to then, you know, put onto my list of things to talk about. Um, so anyway, I don't know why, I, I just felt the need to say that. Um, you have one large pore on your cheek, how do I close that up? I think using exfoliating toners is great, using pore cleansing techniques is also very good. And weirdly, microneedling does help with pores and niacinamide is very good for larger pores. So if you have a very good niacinamide um, serum, like Neod actually does a lovely niacinamide serum, put that on first and do some microneedling and those ingredients are very good ingredients for, for pore minimization as well as different acids. Um, that you can put on. 
um, I've overdone the retinol, what do you suggest? I think there's two very good products or three really good products that I think you can do and put on if you think, oh my God, what was I on? I was in my zealousness to make my skin better. I've made it worse. And I think very calming ingredients. I think colloidal silver is something if it's really reacting. I think having a cream like E45 is the most classic thing from Boots. Emu oil is something I use from Julia Hunter and that's a incredibly hydrating, nurturing oil without any fragrance in it. It smells a little bit pungent, but it will calm and hydrate the skin for me better than anything else I use. I don't know if I have any here, I'll just to show you what it looks like. It comes from America, so it's not gonna work for you straight away, darling. Um, other, I had to say a rescue and emergency. Um, I've got some, like this is Nano Silver, you can spray that on, that's a topical one. Um, this is Indeed Labs, has a little balm which is nice. Um, there's a Thousand and One Regimes Magical Skin Repair Gel, which is a nice one. Um, there's, uh, SkinCeuticals does a nice mask, it's called Photo Correct, and it's a calming botanical mask that's also good to use. Um, uh, so I would say those kind of products then, you know, if you feel you can't use anything on your skin, you could just go to the tolerance range from La Roche-Posay as well. So all those things are good to use. Um, will I be having bathroom talks in my new office? Yes, you know what, we're not, just to give you, for those of you who follow us every day, just to give you the gen. We won't be letting go of Elm Place. We love Elm Place, it's our home, it's our spiritual home. We'll be doing shoots here. We still have appointments here for makeovers um, and we'll film a bit of the takeover show here and I'll probably do my fashion from here and I'm sure I will do my Wednesday bathroom from here. Okay, so rest assured. In our new office, which is just off the King's Road, we will be doing an amazing new makeup studio where you'll be able to come and book appointments for maybe up to eight friends to do an evening of doing your makeup, um, which we think will be really fun. It's right off the King's Road, in the middle of the King's Road. Uh, and so there'll be two locations that you can do appointments and we'll be doing appointments there five days a week. So exciting! So things will evolve, but the office, filming the office, What the Tea, which is a very fun show we're starting to do on Trini London, is going to be amazing from the new office because it's a great office. So let's just look at the skin. Let me just look at the skin myself. My God, good! I did think it would leave me dry, but it's not, it's just left me tight. Love that. So for minimizing pores, for brightening your skin even a bit, I think that is, I would give that a very high marking, the Garden of Wisdom um, pore cleansing. Great product, great product. A little technical to use, fabulous. I'm now gonna put on a hydrating mask because I'm in the mood for that. Um, let me just find a hydrating mask and then I'll get on to the next question. Oh, come on, where have they gone? I've talked about hydrating, oh, okay. Sheet masks, hydrating masks. Ah, here, shall I do a little bit of, what am I gonna do? An old classic or something new? Bionic, oh, I've never tried this, I'm gonna try this. Hey, when in the bathroom, find your product. Exuviance, lovely range, actually, beautiful range. This is Bionic Oxygen Facial. Detoxifies and energizes, restoring a radiant youthful complexion. Put that on top, that's the kind of mask you would, I would layer on top of another mask, so it comes out I think I have used this before actually. Because in my ones that I like, so putting that on there. I'm expecting it to be like the one, do you remember from Bliss? There was a fantastic oxygenizing, oxygenating facial, and it would go um, it would go into a foam when you put it on your skin. So I'm sort of expecting this one to do that, but it's not going to. It's just gonna go on and using quite a lot. I always use quite a lot. And don't forget your bloody neck. I didn't do the pore cleansing on my neck. Didn't feel the need for that. Okay, so we've got that one on. Uh, oh yes it is, look, it is foaming up. It's foaming up, look. I mean it says it on the packet, so it's almost foam really. I'm using that, there. 
Okay, next question. Um, do I use the same moisturizer day and night or do you recommend a specific night one? I think that I generally at night don't use something to just hydrate my skin because Eve Long, who did facials for me years ago, always said at night, let your skin breathe. So I sort of held on to that for years. But I think what's also important is when you're starting to introduce active ingredients, I put them on at night. So retinols I do at night and then I will do the emu oil on top to sort of seal it because retinol sometimes can be uh, temporarily drying. So in the morning, my routine is very different. So I definitely rarely, if ever, use the same morning and night cream. I always feel there's a different weight that I need and it's going on top of a different product because generally in the morning, my moisturizer might go on top of my vitamin C or another serum. Um, love Emma Hardy, what's my favorite exfoliating mask? Too many, but I've got on, for those of you who ask some questions about specific areas and things, always remember you can go onto trinilondon.com and go to Tea Time blog, which is in the navigation. And there, there's a skincare category, and I've got my secret seven of about 10 categories, like retinol, vitamin Cs, exfoliating acid toners, exfoliators, cleansers, exfoliating masks, sheet masks, tools. And in those seven, I'll always have an inexpensive one, one for sensitive skin, one that's organic, and four others that I absolutely adore. Generally, 90% of them I've been using for quite a few years. One or two might be new friends um, that I've discovered recently and I think are great. So, so in exfoliating products, would I put the Garden of Wisdom down? I might do that actually, um, yes. So that's always a good place for you to look and see them because I don't always know your skin. When you ask me these questions, your skin type, you'll just say, should I do this? And it's very difficult to come back with an answer if I don't know your, your skin type and your age and your ethnicity because different skins behave differently. So um, that's the quickest way you can get something that feels personalized to you. Um, uh, Babsy um, made my one-to-one -one appointment on Monday in New York City and we're coming into Trinity Tribe event at 6 p.m. Yes, if you haven't done it yet, we are there. We're there full time now. And if you go on to visit us on Trinity London and you can book an appointment to come in and get a one-to-one -one makeover at the John Barrett Salon with, with our chief um, makeup artist who we have working there full time. But on month, between Monday the 6th and Thursday the 10th, I will actually be in New York with four members of our team doing makeovers, doing Trinity Tribe events, um, doing masterclasses. So please, if you haven't booked in yet, please book in now because it's getting really, really busy. We've had to bring over another two makeup artists to just to fuel and feed the appointments. So we've released a few more appointments. If you didn't manage to get one, we have yesterday released a few more. So you can go online and get those appointments in. But when we leave on the Thursday, that doesn't mean things stop because the, you know, we are there permanently. So if you don't manage to catch us, you will still catch our fabulous makeup artist who's brilliant and uh, will, you know, take you through Match to Me, find you the makeup that suits you and do that whole process with you. Um, hi, from Chicago. What should I do on the plane? San Francisco thoughts on Avida products. I love Avida. My favorite plane product is Cosmetics. Do I have it here? It's something I always use on the plane and it's called Cosmetics Something Balm. Cosmetics Recovery Balm and it's cosmetic C-O-S-M-E-D-I-X. I put that on thickly and I use that on any long haul flight and it's the most amazing barrier. And then sometimes, because I don't give a shit, I will then put a dry sheet mask on top like Nanette de Gaspé's. Even if it's, I've used it three times, I'll keep that mask just to stop the, the lack of oxygen taking all of the hydration out of my skin. Um, because I just prefer to land with great skin than to care what the people on the left or right of me think about about how I am on a plane. Some of you might have had the misfortune to sit next to me, but I have a certain techniques on a plane. Look, I've got all that marsh there. I might take it off in a second. It's going in my mouth. Um, PWM, any advice for a total sunblock after radiotherapy treatment? Um, I think... Okay, I'm going to show you something now. No, there's, there's different sunblocks, and it depends how keen you are on having very natural products on your skin. Now, Total Sunblock would be an SPF 100, but it can contain many chemicals. There is a new SPF, which is good on many, many levels. Aesthetic there, SPF 40. Why this is so good 
is it's non-damaging if you're in the sea, which I really love to any um, marine corals, anything. But there are no alcohol, no oxybenzone, benzones, no parabens, no titanium dioxide, no zinc oxide, no petroleum, no emollient petroleum, no lanolin, no shark squalene. That, if you're somebody who's been through chemo and you're thinking, I just want to be so careful, everything I put on my skin, that could be the one for you. I'm going to take this off now because it is in my mouth and I'm going to have to brush my teeth actually because it's just all, it's all tasting pretty disgusting. But hang on in there and I'll answer the rest of your questions. Let me just take this. Ah, ah, too hot, too hot the flannel. Fuck, okay, one second. I'll take that off. Wow, 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 Ah, okay, wow. Wrong. I'm gonna just take that, clean my skin. Oh, there. And then I'm gonna do a little hydrating mist. I'm gonna do a mist. There. Mmm, so nice. Oh yes. And then I'm just going. Actually, I've got to. I'm really sorry. I have to brush my teeth. What's the word of question mark? In the meantime. Oh, flaky skin patches on your face. Mm. Flaky skin patches on your face, darling. It could be you have eczema. It's something to consider. There is a very good product for that. It's so weird that everything that you're all asking about, I have literally on my table here as things I'm going to talk about. But Basics is for people who have eczema. It's a really good restorative, they call it restorative moisturizing serum, but system, but it, it gives you a very good timed hydration. So I'll just show it to you on the skin. Here we go. Um, but specifically formulated for eczema patients. I'm not patients, eczema sufferers. Good pump. Rubs in absolutely hardly any smell just rubs in like that it's really you feel full of um emollients which are kind of like hydrating properties lovely on the skin actually i can feel it's going to be very hydrating i'd say that let me put it up again darling there i also got this from victoria health just saying Okay, I'm now going to do a quick little, because I've got to, I'm going to answer more questions, please know that. And I'm going to do a quick little bit of a C. I'm going to do Sunday Riley, which I've been using a bit recently. Very nice, this. In the summer, I can just use this if I want a quick run out the door moment, because it's got vitamin E in it and vitamin C. It comes in a cream and a lotion, but I'm using the lotion now because I'm going to use the moisturizer on top. There, okay. And then I'm just going to quickly do a day cream, and I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'll do some, oh, what's this? Hang on. I'll do this, something. Resilience 360. This is a brightening cream from Oskia. I do like Oskia. And it's a moisturizer. There we go. Put that on. I'm putting a bit on my hands, sorry, because my hands feel very dry, and I'm being very luxurious. About put, oh, I do like, I love, Oscar has something called Serum 16, which is such a nice serum. But I haven't used a moisturiser for a while. It's going to go. Okay, so skin feels well. Skin feels well, that's good. All right. Okay, let me dig now my, um, what do I need now? I'm just about to come back and answer your questions, but there's something here in my bag. That I have not got. Is it there? Yes. Great. SPF. Ladies, are you doing SPF every day? We are getting to a stage where it's May. You really feel summer is ahead of us now. Um, would Garden of Wisdom Vitamin C be good for my girls to start adding to their limited skincare routine? Gemma has a sensitive skin with rosacea. I think Garden of Wisdom Vitamin C has 23%. L absorbic acid in it. So I think if you've got rosacea, you've got to be aware, is that going to, is that going to be a little bit too much if you've got rosacea? Um, 
So I'd be slightly careful. Uh, I can't remember your, which one of your daughters, both Booth Cockapoo, has um, rosacea, because when I looked at both of them, I didn't feel they did, but I looked at them just for one second, so I can't, I can't uh, remember which one. I'd say go gently with them. So maybe you want a more sensitive one. On the vitamin C's that I've done on Trini London, um, on the Secret Sevens, there are some for sensitive skin.